In the world's largest market for electric vehicles, this is a glimpse at the future. At Shanghai's International Auto Show this year, the heavyweights aren't GM or Ford. It's massive improvement. China is well preceding the rest of the world in the development of sodium-based batteries, which are beginning to compete with the ubiquitous lithium-ion-powered cells. And as the EV industry surges, one problem is becoming even more apparent, and that is battery prices. China has a monopoly on chemical refining and production. However, China is positioning itself to dominate the next great revolution in rechargeable batteries, replacing lithium with sodium, a significantly less expensive and more abundant chemical. So what's this hype all about? Can sodium batteries be better than lithium batteries? How is China going to set the pace for sodium batteries? We've got it all covered for you in today's video, so without wasting any further time, let's get straight into it. Battery is the most important part of any electric vehicle, and these days, lithium-ion batteries have fueled the rise of cell phones and other consumer goods. They are revolutionizing the automobile industry and may soon do the same for solar panels and wind turbines, which are critical in the fight against climate change. China-based BYD, a major battery and EV producer, launched a joint venture with small-sized automobile producer Huihai to establish a sodium battery production hub in Suzhou, Jiangsu province. Both partners intend to grow the business to become the world's largest supplier of sodium electric systems for small automobiles. CATL, the world's largest power battery producer, also based in China, stated in April that its hybrid of sodium ion and lithium ion battery would be installed on Cherry's compact car. Other battery manufacturers, such as Xiongqi Hainer, a company created by Chinese Academy of Science researchers, produce sodium ion batteries and sodium ion materials. Because of the copious availability and the low cost of sodium, sodium ion batteries are currently evolving as a feasible option for lithium ion batteries. Because of their qualities, they have enormous promise. They are energy dense, non flammable, and can operate well in freezing temperatures. What are sodium ion batteries? A sodium ion battery is a rechargeable battery similar to the common lithium ion battery, except it uses sodium ions as charge carriers rather than lithium ions. A sodium ion battery's working principles and cell design are nearly identical to those of lithium ion battery, except sodium compounds are employed instead of lithium compounds. Because of its cheaper cost, greater availability, and fewer environmental effects, sodium ion batteries are emerging as a potential replacement to existing lithium ion battery technology. Because sodium ion batteries are inexpensive and abundant materials, they have the potential to be transformational in several applications. A sodium ion battery is made up of an anode cathode separator, electrolyte, and two current collectors, one positive and one negative. The sodium is stored in the anode and cathode, while the electrolyte acts as the circulating blood that keeps the energy flowing. This electrolyte is created by dissolving salts in solvents, resulting in charged ions that are subsequently conveyed by the electrolyte via the separator from the anode to the cathode. The mobility of sodium ions and the anode generates free electrons, which results in a charge at the positive current collector. The current then passes from the current collector to the negative current collector via the item powered by the battery, such as a smartphone. When a sodium ion battery discharges and provides electricity, the anode transfers sodium ions to the cathode, causing electrons to flow from one side to the other. When you plug in the gadget, sodium ions are emitted by the cathode and absorbed by the anode. What are the differences between sodium and lithium batteries? The main difference and advantage of sodium ion batteries over lithium ion batteries originates from the higher natural abundance of sodium in the Earth's crust compared to lithium, as well as the lower overall cost of extraction and purification of sodium when compared to lithium. Furthermore, sodium containing metal oxide and polyanion cathode materials may be made from naturally plentiful metals like iron and titanium, making sodium ion batteries significantly more sustainable and cost effective. Sodium, which is present in salt all around the world, costs 1 to 3% of the price of lithium and is chemically extremely comparable. Recent advancements mean that sodium batteries can now be recharged on a daily basis for years, eroding a key advantage of lithium batteries. Sodium batteries' energy capacity has also grown, and sodium batteries have a significant advantage. They retain nearly all of their charge when temperatures dip well below freezing, which lithium batteries often do not. 
Graduates at Central South University's Lush Campus are working on sodium battery technology in adjacent research labs run by companies such as Germany's BASF, the world's largest chemical manufacturer. In interviews, Chinese battery executives stated that they had discovered in the previous year how to build sodium battery cells that are so close to lithium batteries that they can be manufactured using the same equipment. CATL, the world's largest manufacturer of electric car batteries, claims to have discovered a technique to utilize sodium cells and lithium cells in a single electric car battery pack, combining sodium cells' low cost and weather resistance with lithium cells' longer range. But that's not all. Before we move on to the rest of the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and while you're at it, like this video as well, but let's get back to the video. Are there any constraints in sodium batteries? If there is any constraint to be counted in the application of sodium ion batteries, it would be the lower energy density, and it's constraining the application of these batteries, probably outside of China, where range anxiety is still a major obstacle in EV adoption. Other than that, there are also certain challenges with the sodium batteries. The flexibility of sodium ion batteries is limited because they cannot be formed into various shapes such as prismatic, cylindrical and so on. When compared to lithium-based batteries, these are less dense and have less storage capacity. Existing sodium ion batteries have a cycle life of 5,000 cycles, which is much less than the 8,000 to 10,000 cycle life of commercial lithium ion phosphate batteries. CATL's sodium ion battery has an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram, whereas Zonki Hina's is 145 watt hours per kilogram. So BYDs should be in the same ballpark, according to O'Hara. This compares to CATL's latest NCM and LFT batteries, which have energy densities of 255 watt hours per kilogram and 160 watt hours per kilogram, respectively. Although sodium ion has a cost advantage, a steep drop in lithium chemistry prices since late 2022, combined with a slowdown in EV growth, may result in impetus for sodium ion manufacturing and adoption. The thermal stability of sodium ion batteries exceeds the natural safety requirements for traction batteries. The first generation of sodium ion batteries can be employed in a variety of transportation electrification situations, particularly in areas with extremely low temperatures where their great advantages become clear. Furthermore, it is adaptable to the application requirements of all scenarios in the energy storage sector. However, sodium ion batteries can operate at lower temperatures, but when exposed to temperatures below freezing, lithium ion batteries can lose up to 50% of their capacity, which can be a significant concern in colder areas. Sodium ion batteries, on the other hand, may function at temperatures as low as negative 20 degrees Celsius without experiencing significant capacity loss. Sodium ion batteries may also be less harmful to the environment than lithium ion batteries. The extraction and processing of lithium can have negative environmental consequences, such as water contamination and resource depletion. Sodium, on the other hand, is more abundant and can be harvested from salt water, reducing mining's environmental impact. Can sodium ion batteries replace lithium ion batteries? While sodium ion batteries have several potential advantages over lithium ion batteries, there are some problems that must be overcome before they can be generally used as a replacement. If sodium ion batteries are to become the backbone of the energy storage sector, their technical performance must continue to improve. Researchers are attempting to increase the performance and stability of the batteries while also lowering the costs, while businesses are looking to build a supply chain for the materials used in the batteries. In the medium term, sodium ion batteries could be utilized for applications requiring a lower energy density, longer lasting batteries such as stationary storage, thus alleviating some of the supply constraints on raw materials for lithium ion batteries used in EVs. Zhang stated that researchers will continue to work on enhancing the energy density and stability of sodium ion batteries. According to some experts, when sodium battery technology is fully developed, it should be able to power light duty EVs as well as energy storage devices. So what are your thoughts on this new EV sodium ion battery? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also turn the notification bell on always so that you can stay updated with our future uploads. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.